Blood plays many roles. It transports gases, hormones, nutrients, signaling molecules, waste, and other things to and from the cells of our body. Components within blood help to maintain a proper pH level as well as an appropriate electrolyte or ion balance in the extracellular spaces. If there is damage to the vessel wall, blood contains cells and chemicals that will facilitate the clotting process to reduce the blood loss. Within the blood are cells that work to detect and remove any foreign antigens or invaders to protect us from illness. The distribution of blood throughout the body also plays a role in our temperature regulation. Have you ever seen someone's hands that are white when they've been out in the cold too long without gloves or someone with a red and sweaty face when, they go, when they're too hot? Both of those are examples of the blood being decreased or increased depending on the temperature. When it is cold out, our bodies reduce the blood flow to the extremities to keep our blood and our important organs warm. When it is hot, our blood goes to the surface to allow heat to escape. That is why we get red and flushed. Blood is 50 to 60 percent plasma, which is mostly water. The other 40 to 50 percent is made up of cells. Let's look more closely at the components of plasma. The three main groups of plasma proteins are albumins, globulins, and fibrinogen that make up only 7 percent of the plasma. Albumins make up most of this, 60 percent of the 7 percent of plasma proteins. Albumin is a large protein produced by the liver that functions to maintain the osmotic gradient in the blood. There are so many proteins outside of the blood in the cells that water will want to move out of the capillaries in large quantities unless there is also a protein inside the capillaries. Albumin serves to help retain water inside the capillaries. In patients with a compromised liver, they may have low albumin production levels and would have a lot of excessive fluid that's out in the tissues or edema. Globulins are 35% of the 7% of plasma proteins and are also made in the liver except the immunoglobulins, which are made by the immune system. Globulins are made of, the, of protein and lipids, so they are referred to as lipoproteins. Globulins are used to transport fat-soluble substances through the blood, which is mostly water. The fat-soluble substance, like cholesterol, binds the lipid part of the globulin, and the protein part makes it able to easily go through the blood. The most well-known groups of globulins are the low-density lipoproteins, known as LDL cholesterol or the bad cholesterol, and the high-density lipoproteins, known as HDL cholesterol or the good cholesterol. LDL is the bad cholesterol because it is low density, which is because it has more fat or more cholesterol. Remember, fat floats, so the more fat there is, the lighter it is in water. HDL is the good cholesterol because it is a high density lipoprotein because it has more of the protein part and less of the fat and cholesterol part. Immunoglobulins are a component of the immune system that bind to and identify antigens or foreign invaders. Fibrinogen is 4% of the 7% of plasma proteins and is also made in the liver. Fibrinogen is used to form blood clots in the event that a vessel wall has, is damaged and a seal needs to be made to prevent blood loss. Also found in the plasma are circulating hormones, electrolytes and ions, nutrients from food in their smallest form for our cells to use like glucose, amino acids and lipids, waste created by our cells, dissolved gases, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, etc., and buffers like car bicarbonate.